<laughs> what happened? I mean, did we really do any damage? It was like, it was gigantic. And is that's it, the scream in the, in the soundtrack. Is it more fun, in a way, to make a horror movie? I mean, all of these horrible things are happening. Is it, I don't know, just like more of an adventure as a filmmaking experience than it is to make something, you know, very serious or, you know? I think they're all adventures. And I think it's, I mean, I've, I've yet to work on something that was laborious and and horrible. They, I mean, making movies is exciting. And this was, in particular, very um, fulfilling because I got to work with Guillermo, who is such a great filmmaker, and you learn so much about story and, you know, just, just right now hearing him say, well, we had to do the breaking of the leg because the audience is going to feel this before she gets sucked in. I was like, oh, is that why we do <laughs> but, I, but it's those rhythms that... It's like, oh, okay, I'm learning how, you know, those things help to really create an impact on an audience. So, um, I loved it. And it's fun, it's a challenge to do a, a horror movie and then create emotional tension within that. It's, it's like, ooh, cool. <laughs> hey, so, can I ask you a question that sort of goes to the heart of your character, at least as far as I'm concerned? The way you see her in the film, does she actually believe that Sally is actually seeing these things, or does she find it, like Guy Pierce's character, you know, hard to believe, but she wants to empathize with her anyway? Because I'm just sort of curious if you, how you saw it, because you know, I, I'm just wondering if, if your character actually really believes her or not. I think she believes her at the point where uh, she sees the... Um the drawings mm -hmm. and the mural um, and how that matches because that's when she starts packing. She says, we're getting out of here. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, uh, I don't think she, you know, believes that there's any value to Sally's uh, nightmares except for the fact that the girl just needs someone to talk to. Right. But what about when she sees Jack Thompson in the hospital and there he is nearly dead with his eye couched out and he says, get that girl out of the house now, you know. Well, I know. I thought I, that was sort of like the turning point in, in the movie, no, or not. Well, that's one of them. I mean, all of these things sort of add up, but you have to remember that, you know, Alex and Kim are under, under a lot of pressure to have this dinner party, and they have a lot going on, and so it's a little bit like, you know, it's one of those things, I think, that everything is so heightened that I believe that these characters, it's like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, it's hard to keep up with what's being revealed, and only when it's like the mural, and that like hits you in the face where it's like, oh my god, okay, I, I get it now, and I'm gonna... Because uh, remember, it. until then, until then, uh, Jack Thompson's character never says, little creatures attack me. Uh, actually, they say he must have fallen on his tools, uh, it was an accident, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, uh, you try to graduate it so that the characters learn things to the point where they go. Uh, I mean, the girl is the one, the first one to find out, and it's, she's the first to get the hell out of the house. And, but she's 11, so they bring her back. Mm -hmm. The second one is Katie, and she realizes that the face in the engravings matches the drawings of the girl. And that moment she goes, party or no party, we're packing, we're leaving. Then the library happens and she has to get the girl uh, in the car, and now Alex is on board, and then after that is a siege. The creatures strategize to keep them in the house. So the evolution of the how much the characters know was mapped on the screenplay from the beginning. And without giving anything away, uh, the ending has such an amazing great nod to the audience that suggests if there were a sequel, Katie, yeah. you might be back in a very different form. <laughs> Can you talk about that without giving anything away? It's such a great way to end. My role would be in a, a, sound, tiny, a tiny. sound stage <laughs> <laughs> or a sound booth. Well, the, 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 that came from uh, one of the characters in the original, had that ending in 73. And uh, what is great is that even, even although we are in a horror movie, it's very rare that a distributor and a studio would allow for what happens in the last five minutes of the movie to happen. And it's a big shock to the audience to see that, you know, and I think uh, uh, we were lucky enough to, to be A, with the right studio, and B, in a transition, 
uh, between one studio and the other, and, and we were able to keep all that. But normally, that's the thing, when, when, that, that takes the audience entirely by surprise when that happens. I understand that you had this with Harvey Weinstein and he wanted all these Both. changes and you yeah. said, I'm out of here. Yeah, I left and then uh, 10 years later I got it back. Okay. And that, that's the thing, I, I, I had just done a movie with Bob, not Harvey, with Bob. And, oh, for Dimension. Uh, yeah, and we started, uh, we, we got the notes back and I, I said farewell and then 10 years later uh, when they left Disney, I went, did they by any chance leave behind that screenplay? And, what, what is great is the screenplay we shot is, uh, is the draft we abandoned before it was developed to the ground. But they went through many, many permutations. Okay. They have uh, the creatures flying, they impregnated women, they kidnapped them, they were six feet tall, they were vampires. I mean, like, every permutation I've heard is uh, weird. I mean, they went into completely different directions. And we went back to the direction I wanted on the, from the start. Okay. And Katie, do you know what you're doing next? I have Jack and Jill coming the, uh, on with Adam Sandler. Mm -hmm. I hear it's going to be great. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much for your advice. Yeah, I got in touch with Keith. Oh, cool. And he sent me some great stuff. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Okay. I didn't know.